Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 50 years on television. Sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hello, everyone. I'm Mary Lou Metzger, and welcome to the Lawrence Welk Show. Thanksgiving is such a special time of the year, and during our show, Sandy Griffiths reminds us to count your blessings. Ken Delo sings, My Cup Runneth Over, while Clay Hart suggests that we try a little tenderness. Later in the show, I'll be visiting with beautiful and talented Sandy Griffiths, so stay with us. But now, here's that familiar fanfare. Swelk Network presents The Big Band Sound of Lawrence Welk and a special Thanksgiving show. For there's no place like home for the holidays Cause no matter how far away you find for the sunshine of a friendly game. For the holidays you can't be home sweet home. I met a man who lives in Tennessee and he was heading for Pennsylvania and some homemade pumpkin pie. From Pennsylvania folks are traveling down to Dixie's sunny shore. From Atlantic to Pacific, gee, the traffic is terrific. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. Cause no matter how far away you roam. If you want to be happy in a million ways, for the holidays you can't be home sweet home. I met a man who lives in Tennessee, and he was heading for Pennsylvania and some homemade pumpkin pie. From Pennsylvania, folks are traveling down the Dixie sunny shore. From Atlantic to Pacific, gee, the traffic is terrific. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. There's no matter how far away you roam. If you want to be happy in a million ways, for the holidays you can't be home sweet home. For the holidays you can't be home sweet home. Thank you. Greetings, friends, and welcome to our special Thanksgiving show. Yes, it's the beginning of the holiday season, a good time to remember a childhood lesson, which some of us tend to forget saying thank you for our many blessings. Personally, I'm grateful for many things, including the fact I have such a wonderful musical family to present to you folks. This evening, I'll be sharing the announcements with several of our talented people, and right now, let's hear from the band. A seasonal song, Winter Wonderland.
Winter Wonderland. Hey, it's getting to be Winter Wonderland in a lot of parts of the country, and... Uh -huh. Oh, boy, you know what that means for us, ski yeah, time. Yeah, a little skiing. I love a winter, don't you? Yes. I, I always have liked winter. I think it's because uh, wintertime, that's when Thanksgiving comes, that's when Christmas comes, family reunions and parties like this one we're having right here tonight. Hey, by the way, that reminds me, it's about time for our guests to be arriving right now, isn't it? Yep, as a matter of fact, I think I hear some of them coming right now. Hi, who's How are you doing? Hi, When you can, y'all come, y'all come. Oh, y'all come to see us now and then. When you live in the country, everybody is your neighbor. On this one thing you can rely. Now they all come to see you, and they never leave you saying, Y'all come to see us by and by. Y'all come. Y'all come, oh, y'all come see us when you can. Y'all come, y'all come, oh, y'all come see us now and then. Now, can folks are coming, they're coming by the dozen, eating everything from soup to hay. And then right after dinner, they ain't looking any thinner, and here's what you hear. Let's watch America's number one young dance couple, Sissy and Bobby. The song, one of the all-time top requests, Somewhere My Love.
Beautiful. Beautiful music and another wonderful dance routine by Bobby and Sissy. There's some good advice in this next song, not only for Thanksgiving, but all through the year. Let's listen to Sandy and some more of our pretty girls. When I'm worried and I can't sleep, I count my blessings instead of sheep. And I fall asleep counting my as pretty as they look. Our boss often speaks of the big band sound. Well, a very important part of that sound is provided by a good saxophone section. We're very proud of ours. Folks meet Dave Edwards, Bob Davis, Russ Klein, Dick Dale, and Henry Cuesta. They'll be joined at the organ by Bob Ralston. Listening to this fine saxophone section reminds me just how much can be accomplished through hard work, cooperation, and goodwill. And goodwill is something my song is about tonight, and I have a feeling I'm going to get a trombone introduction here. <laughs> Oh, 
goodwill in people brings about good thoughts in people brings about good deeds in people and they become good friends but bad will in people brings about bad thoughts in people brings about bad deeds in people and that's where friendship ends oh sisters and brothers that golden rule is true just do good to others and they'll do good to you cause goodwill in people brings about good thoughts in people brings about good deeds in people and they become good friends oh sisters and brothers that golden rule is true just do good to others and they'll do good to you cause goodwill in people brings about good thoughts in people brings about good deeds in people and they yes they become good friends back to the show and the voice of candilo and his song with a timely title for this thanksgiving season my cup runneth over Sometimes in the morning when shadows are deep I lie here beside you just watching you sleep And sometimes I whisper what I'm thinking of My cup runneth over with love See, I study the small things you do constantly. I memorize moments that I'm fondest of. My cup runneth over with So in that moment with sunlight above my cup runneth over with love my cup runneth over with love Thank you very much. It's time for some dance music now, and the band is ready with a song that fits the season. Here in Champagne style is Let It Snow.
Right now, Buddy and Neil and Bobby Smale are going to join me in a great old country song that contains the essence of the holiday spirit. It's called Try a Little Kindness. If you see your brother standing by the road with a heavy load from the seeds he sowed and you see your sister standing by the way just stop and say you're going the wrong way you've got to try a little kindness just show a little kindness shine your light for everyone to see and if you try a little kindness then you'll overlook the blindness of the narrow-minded people on the narrow-minded street show every day will help someone along their way you've got to try a little kindness yes lord show a little kindness and just shine your light for everyone to see and if you try a little kindness then you'll overlook the blindness of the narrow minded people on the narrow minded street Thank you, Clay, for reminding us all to try a little tenderness. Coming up is our beautiful champagne lady, Norma Zimmer, singing Bless This House. Jimmy Roberts singing May the Good Lord Bless and Keep You. And we're treated to the Jenny Lind Polka by Myron Florin, with dancing by Bobby and Sissy. Another reminder to stay with us at the end of the show when I visit with Sandy Griffiths. And now, back to the show. Our show continues with lovely Norma Zimmer and a traditional Thanksgiving song. Thank you. 
Beautiful, Norma, as always. And here's some good news for our friends in Alabama. Norma, Bob Rawson, and Claire Hard will be appearing at the Sacred Music Festival in Birmingham, November the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Next, ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Duncan, with his own dance routine to Skater's Waltz. Swing it, Arthur. <laughs> That was Arthur Duncan melting the ice with his version of the Skater's Walls. Tanya found a Hal David Burt Bacharach song she likes very much, and I think you folks will like it too. It tells about still another shortage in this world of ours. Tanya, let's hear it. But for everyone, Lord, we don't need another mountain. There are mountains and hillsides enough to climb. There are oceans and rivers enough to last. Oh, listen, Lord, to the end of time. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the Thing that there's just too little love. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. Everyone, Lord, we don't need another meadow. There are cornfields and wheat fields enough to grow. There are sunbeams and moonbeams enough to shine. Oh, listen, Lord, if you want to know. And here's Jimmy Roberts with a song, quite in keeping with the spirit of the season.
May the good Lord bless and keep you Whether near or far away May you find that long-awaited golden day today. May your troubles all be small ones and your fortune ten times ten. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. May you walk with sunshine shining and a bluebird in every tree. May there be a silver lining back of every cloud you see. Fill your dreams with sweet tomorrows. Never mind what might have been. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. rendition of a beautiful song by our good friend Meredith Wilson. Next, a good example of the big band sound. A great inspirational song by Rogers and Hammerstein featuring our chorus and orchestra. Here's George Cates to conduct a concert arrangement of You'll Never Walk Alone. Thank you. 
Isn't that great? George Cates, our wonderful band, and our singers. It's always a pleasure for me to introduce this charming little Mexican girl. Anna Connie's singing and sparkling personality have really meant a lot to our show. And in keeping with the spirit of the season, we're all thankful to have found her. Anna Connie? Thank you, Myron. And I am thankful for being with you nice people. My song, Besame Mucho. Besame, besame mucho. Como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Bésame, bésame mucho. Que tengo miedo perderte, perderte después. Quiero tenerte muy cerca. Mirarme en tus ojos, verte junto a mí. Piensa que tal vez mañana yo ya estaré lejos, muy lejos de ti. Bésame, bésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche la última. Perderte después Que tengo miedo Perderte Perderte después Gail and Dale have a musical reminder That it's that time of the year again Button up your overcoat Button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Eat an apple every day. Get to bed by three. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Be careful crossing streets. Ooh. Don't eat meat. Cut out sweets. Ooh, you get a pain and ruin your tum tum. Keep away from other girls when you're on a spree. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Be careful crossing streets. Ooh, don't eat meats. Ooh, cut out sweets. Ooh. You get a pain and ruin your tum tum. Keep away from other boys when you're on that spree. Take good care of yourself. Take good care of yourself. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Good seasonal advice by Dick Dale and Gail Farrell. There's a lot of tradition associated with the holidays, the customs, the food we eat, even the dances we do. Like the familiar heel and toe polka. Ready, fellas?
is a beautiful song that really expresses the true spirit of Thanksgiving. Let's listen to Joe Feeney and our choir. I'm so glad you could all be with us for our Thanksgiving celebration. And I can't think of a more perfect guest for a Thanksgiving show than our beautiful redhead, Sandy Griffiths. Welcome, <laughs> Sandy. Thanks, Mary Lou. I'm grateful to be here. <laughs> does this show from 1973 bring back any memories for you? Why, doesn't it? It does. I'm just thinking that's the time period between singing with Sally, who had headed to kind of do a solo thing, and and uh, be before the trio. And so, uh, and I had these sweet little babies, you know, Jenny and Amy, and uh, great memories, great memories. Well, speaking of blessings, the song you sang on this show was Count Your Blessings. Yes. Tell me about some of yours. Oh, my goodness. I am so blessed, Mary Lou. I just uh, am so grateful. Uh, you know, right now I'm taking care of my dad. My, um, he's in his 90th year. And he's a little fragile, but he's such a sweetie. Sometimes we'll take him to maybe go shop at Costco, and we'll get him an electric cart. And he will just get in that cart and just scoot through that store, and he'll just sing songs. <laughs> and people will go, wow, you're really having a, a great day, aren't you? And I, I want to say, this isn't a great day for him. He's always this way. He doesn't need a great day. He just has mu music in his soul, and so... He's just a joy. He's a great patriarch of the family and is a great blessing for us. And so we're hoping he just stays around for a very long time. He's one of my big blessings. And then my family. What's more important than family? My family is such a blessing. You remember little Jenny. Of course I do. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little twinkle, star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star with that long, beautiful hair. And uh, now she's a mom with five children married to a sweet man, Mike, and he's an ER doctor. They're going to Bolivia in a few weeks, and I'm going to babysit the youngest three, Isaac and Seth and Liliana, while they're in Bolivia for two months, 
for two weeks doing uh, humanitarian work. They're going to bring Nathan and Raquel with them. So they're just doing great. And then you remember Chad? Of course. Chad is such a blessing. Chad lives up in Washington State, and he has a sweet wife, Jessica, and their little boy is Caden. And then there's Ben, and uh, or Amy is next. Remember, Amy got kind of ill and um, came back from a, a pretty serious illness. And she's living with my dad, taking care of him when I'm not up there. And he's got family around, too. She plays the harp, too. She plays the harp. She's been playing in this symphony. And, and because she's learned so much health-wise, she takes such good care of my dad. I'm sure that's one of the reasons he's been as well as he's been through these last few years because of her great knowledge and so she's a joy and and then there's Ben and Ben came back home with his wife and they've got a little boy Grayson who's just darling and Natalie's expecting another baby soon and they've bought another home now darn but he's learning the business so he's going to help Brent be able to retire, take over that floor covering store. And so we're excited to have another new baby coming into the family. And then there's Emily, little, she's my little pistol, you know, she's so cute. And she's married to Dallin, who is a physician assistant. And they've got two darling kids, um, <laughs> Noah and Sarah. And uh, she's a good photographer. She's just an industrious little gal. She just has a light about her wherever she goes. And then there's Dan. Dan is in dental school back in Indiana. He's married to Tara, and they've got two darling boys. This is redhead, you know. Grayson's got a little bit of red hair, and Jacob and... Um, Carrying on the family that's tradition. That's right. That's <laughs> right. It's so fun to have his grandkids. And, um, and so Jacob and Micah both have this light red hair. So darling. But, you know, what a blessing for him to be able to realize his dream of being a dentist. So he's doing well back there. And, and then Sam. Sam just got home from Europe. He's uh, still at BYU, Brigham Young University. And he... Um, danced with the BYU International Folk Dancers for a month over in Europe. And you've got a trip coming up. I have relatives that came from Prussia, which is the southwest part of Poland and today. And so, you know, I can only go back so far, and so we're going to go walk where our Gottliebs, our Gottlieb Shions walked, <laughs> you know, and, and see if we can't take the, our family history back further. So we're going to fly into Prague and then spend a week in Prussia, which is now Poland, and then we'll join the Mediterranean cruise and go see tu into Turkey and Istanbul. And Ben and his wife Natalie are coming with us. We took Emily and her husband and Sam up to the Baltics, you know, and, and saw Saint Petersburg and oh, wonderful, wonderful places. So we we've been to China, we've been to the to Africa, you know, on African safaris with photos and floating over the Maasai Mara in a hot air balloon. We've been what greatly amazing, blessed, I feel amazing like, amazing trip. Cinderella. What are some of your best memories or stories from the Welk years? Oh, it's, uh, what a precious time. Isn't and it? I'm so grateful for that blessing, to have been able to sing and have the Welk family as my family, too. I was thinking about Lawrence and how he took beautiful music. You know, the world can be very negative. And he took this beautiful music, this positive influence that is so positive and so endearing that we're on PBS because of it all these years later. And I, I take from that to, to look for the positive instead of tearing other things down, destroying other things, to, to find the positive. And music has such a positive side when you're doing the delightful, uplifting part of music. And that's been a great influence in my life, the positive value of music that can lift you out of anything, you know, out of grief and sorrow and out of the world that uh, can be a negative place. It reaches you in your heart. It does. But weren't we delighted dancing and with so him? And so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> and some of the things he would say, and this is the Mormon pumpernickel choir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, he just did such cute things without thinking about it, and we'd all be behind him trying not to just 
crack up and fall off the stage when he'd say different things. Well, you've actually gone back and you're working on your master herbologist. Well, degree. you know, I taking care of my dad, I've kind of put that on the back burner, but I have loved learning what I've learned and we use it constantly. There's so many things the Lord put on the earth to help us when we're ill or you know have different challenges when we want to relax and sleep better or when someone gets sick I'll see you I, after the it's show my kids, <laughs> you know my kids are going oh she's gonna try something else out on me but you know it works it's wonderful stuff it's wonderful stuff and eating better is wonderful and you're teaching that as well yes at times I get the opportunity to tell people eat more live food did you just eat something really good for you today that <laughs> God made that didn't get handled by 15 people. <laughs> eat something that's living and it'll just help your body. Well, being with you has got to be good for the spirit <laughs> because it's been so much fun. Oh, I'm so do. glad we had this time. Oh, me too. Thank you so much. And we're all so grateful and we give thanks for every week with you. Thank you so much. And as Lawrence always said, keep a song in your heart.